It just says, in recognition of your outstanding work in art therapy. A special guest from the vice president's office made her way to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. We can reprogram the brain and actually heal it. Second lady Karen Pence came to meet with patients, parents, and therapists who are involved in the music and art therapy programs. I'd been an art teacher for years and had never heard of art therapy. And so when I first saw how this could affect children with cancer, I was just amazed. Mrs. Pence has taken up this issue since becoming second lady. She advocates for funding for art therapy programs at hospitals across the country. One of the patients is Katherine Donner, a five-year-old born with a congenital heart defect. She started music therapy when she was just four months old, listening to the guitar being played in her hospital room. That was so nice, Catherine. When she got a little older, she took up the instrument herself. So since then, Catherine, um, she loves music and she plays the guitar and she sings to her babies. And um, it's something that um, I, I play the guitar and I play for my children as well. Typically, a hospital isn't the most comforting place to spend your days, especially if you're a kid. But one thing that this music and art therapy really aims to do is give patients a home away from home. A lot of our songs uh, had a common theme, which was home. <laughs> and also just acceptance. Let it be from the Beatles was a big one. And you know, sometimes you just have to let it be. It is what it is. Therapy through the arts that hopes to heal the soul. At Cincinnati Children's, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.